So we just got Kuma's Corner, the burger of the month for September 2024. It's the corn burger, which Brian ordered. I just got the classic Kuma. Why do you want to get the corn burger? Uh, I'm a fan. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who don't know what Kuma's Corner is, it's a pretty big deal in the Chicagoland area. It's a metal themed burger place where they have like Metallica Burger, Mastodon Burger, like you know, named after heavy metal bands. Didn't you meet one of the corn members in the airport? Yeah, so in my corn story, uh, I was coming home. I was uh, in LA for the uh, ASCAP Expo, one of those ASCAP ex Expo things. And um, I was in the airport, and I see these guys walking across, and I instantly recognize them because I'm a fan, and they stand out like a sore thumb. Um, there's the guys from Corn. I didn't want to bother them, but I did catch Fieldy on his way. I, get, I think it was to the bathroom. I didn't get in his way, but I, I walked uh, beside him, and I whispered, like, "Hey, I know you. I know who you are. I'm a fan." And he goes, and he was like sleepy or whatever and he was like oh yeah that's cool he's like hey all the guys are over there <laughs> he's like you know he's pretty much like hey yeah don't bother me <laughs> he's kid. like i have to go to the bathroom <laughs> yeah so i was like oh yeah cool cool yeah so they were just sitting at one of the gates at the airport and um i didn't go say hi i was too i don't know starstruck but yeah so that's <laughs> that's my story i and it all comes full circle because now you're eating the corn burger. <laughs> okay, back to the burger. So according to Kuma's Instagram account, the corn burger has cilantro lime aioli, corn here to slay hot sauce, habanero jack cheese, roasted poblano corn relish, cotija cheese, and tahine. Your burger? <laughs> okay. It's the corn burger. <laughs> He's making a video. Uh, Look at this. This looks really good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In the end, the corn burger was sweet, tangy, and spicy. Um, after tasting it and looking at the ingredients again, now I see that they're trying to go for some sort of uh, Mexican street corn burger. Um, I kind of wish that the corn burger wasn't uh, a temporary menu item because uh, I would definitely order it again if it was part of the main menu. So I kind of wish that it was here to stay. The corn burger gets an out of 10. So there is no FaceTime police burger at Kuma's <laughs> yet, but there should be for sure. If there was a FaceTime police burger, what would you have in it? Well, our music has like a little bit of everything, so some kind of burger that has... <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Macaroni, uh... <laughs> Macaroni burger, red start. So maybe like one of every appetizer. <laughs> so like a little bit of jalapeno popper in there. Oh yeah. A little bit of edamame. A little bit of chili cheese. <laughs> I don't know if they have chili cheese. <laughs> you look at their appetizers and we'll just have like a little bit of each or, in the burger. Or what if it's like... What if it was their first finest food stuff? Oh, the Simpsons thing. The first finest food stuff with their second finest. So it's a lobster stuff with taco burger. Oh, that should be... <laughs> that would be the FaceTime Police Burger. All right, Kuma's Corner if you're watching this. The FaceTime Police Burger is a lobster stuffed with taco burger. It's That's the FaceTime Police Burger. Make it happen.